Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video that completely contradicts everything I said in my last video. I change my mind a lot. Don't forget to get this video to 15 likes for the next one, so go down and hit the button that has the thumbs up icon. That one? Yeah, hit it. The sooner you guys get this video to 15 likes, the sooner I post my next video. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys 5 things wrong with Battlefront. And I'm just going to start off by saying if you don't agree with any of this, you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't agree with any of this, comment down below and tell me what you agree or disagree with because I love to hear you guys' opinions. The fifth worst thing with Battlefront. It's probably going to have to be the maps themselves. There's really no variety. Just think about this. We got one map and I would have to say the entire map is brown. The entire map. There is no other colors on this map besides the sky. Everything is brown. You look around, it's brown. There's rocks, they're brown. And if you really think about it, it's like they just took a big open area, all right? It's just one huge open area. And then they slapped a rock here or put a big mountain there. The one map that you play on drop zone it's like there's just a couple rocks you know like there's a rock here rock there rock i'm pretty sure all the rock formations are exactly the same you got one thing in the middle and it looks like it took them all of two seconds to make they put so much thought into that one you guys so much thought and then there's the map that ties into walker assault i'm gonna try to pronounce it pretty sure it's hoth don't be mad at me for pronouncing it wrong okay i'm stupid I know, you guys, you Star Wars, like, fanatics really get mad at me when I pronounce stuff wrong. Pretty sure it's Hoth. But I understand that everything has to be white in that one, but it's literally, like, you're making me go a little crazy. The fourth worst thing about Star Wars Battlefront. It would have to be the fact that, that without the name Star Wars plastered to the front of it, this game would literally be nothing. I don't know where I heard this. I heard this off of Twitter or, you know, some video on YouTube, so don't quote me on that. I didn't say that. Someone else said it, and I agree with them, and I don't remember where I heard it. Pretty sure it was someone on YouTube, so shout out to whoever said that, because you're a genius, because honestly, I wouldn't have realized that on my own. But think about it. Without the whole pew 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 of the guns or the shwing shwing of the lightsabers, what would this, what would this game be? Alright guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, alright? I take notes, like, when I think of a video, I like write a paper and I like kind of make sure I have all my thoughts aligned because if I didn't, it'd just be one big jumbly mess of me talking about a specific game. So I kind of like put my thoughts in order on a piece of paper. And for that one, I actually wrote down pew pew and zwing zwing. Not gonna lie. And let's be honest, you guys, if there wouldn't have been Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2 that hit it off so much in the past, this game would literally be like poop. Like, nobody would want to play this game. Considering Battlefront 2, it leads us directly to the third worst thing about Star Wars Battlefront. Let's just compare the game that everyone loves, Battlefront 2, to the game that... Mm, you know what, never mind, scratched it out, to the piece of crap that just came out. Alright, let's just carefully go through everything that Battlefront, this Battlefront, does not have. So I don't know if you guys have ever played Battlefront 2, but there is a certain way that they have their characters, where as you get more kills and as the game goes on, you actually go up and you can get a better character, and that better character will have more jobs to do or different opportunities to do a job that will help the help the game and the match progress and help you guys win and my favorite would be an engineer to like go walk around and go fixing stuff and how awesome would that have been in the multiplayer of this game i don't know what they're gonna add in for the actual game and i don't know if it was just for the beta but you had one character Everyone else had one character. What's with that? That was the best part about Battlefront 2. That was what I loved about Battlefront 2, was that you could 
upgrade like that. And that there was so many different things in the map and in the match that you could do. And it's like, who thought of that? Who was like, woke up one day and said, we're gonna completely cut that out of the game? Who, really? Let's also compare maps. Battlefront 2 has like 15 amazing maps. I'm talking maps that were like gigantic. Maps that you just loved to play around on, where you knew where little secret alleyways were or whatever. But I loved it so much. I loved the maps. I loved all the little things you could do on the maps. That was like my ultimate favorite. I love how all the different maps had a different Jedi that you could play as. That was great. And I also love how you had to earn the Jedi. And Battlefront 2 had space fighting. I don't know if it's in Battlefront or maybe they just took it out because of beta, but I'm pretty sure there's no space fighting. Come on! EA, what were you thinking when you took out every good thing from Battlefront 2 and then named it Battlefront? You can't even put the name Battlefront onto this game because it has none of the key features. The second worst thing about Battlefront. I rank this one higher on the list because it just drives me insane. The guns and the abilities. The guns I don't have as much of a problem with, but they're still not what I would have wanted. I mean, I didn't really expect much for guns out of EA, and I didn't really expect much for guns out of Battlefront, but I don't know. The way that they did the guns, I think they should have just put a little bit more time into it. There's literally four guns. The guns just feel all the same to me. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm carrying a light machine gun, I want to be like super slow. And when I'm carrying a pistol, I want to be super fast. And when I'm wearing, I'm carrying like an assault rifle, I want to be like somewhere in the middle. I want to feel it. I like the realism. And maybe it just went over my head, but I really didn't feel it with that game. Onto abilities. This is where it's going to get rocky for me, you guys. The cycler rifle. Now, I know I shouldn't really call this abilities, they're technically called star cards, but they're like perks. And the fact that they make a sniper rifle, a freaking star card, okay, <sighs> need to cool myself down with this one. The Cycler Rifle had me so infuriated with the game that I literally didn't want to play it anymore. Like, it had me raging so much because of how many noobs were using the stupid cycler rifle. It was so overpowered that you pretty much had to use it. If you didn't use it, you were at an extreme disadvantage to the rest of your team and the other team. The grenades. There wasn't really a variety of grenades I felt like I could use. That's one thing I love about Destiny is the unique grenades. There's one thing about Destiny that I really love. It's the weapons and the grenades. There was only like two grenades. And the jetpack. Why is this a star card? This should be automatically put into the game. Everyone should get a freaking jetpack. Are you kidding me? It's Star Wars. The first worst thing, the most horrible, most irritating thing about this game would have to be the repetition, the game modes, the maps, the fact that the game modes and the maps were intertwined. I think I've said enough. I think I need to stop recording before this video becomes a 20 minute long video. So let me know what you guys think down below and definitely tell me if you think I'm wrong or if you agree with me because like I said before, you guys' opinions are amazing. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up for next video. Get it to 15 likes, you guys. Ciao!